हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज़ अ वेरी नाइस मोमेंट फॉर अस टू इंट्रोड्यूस यू से विथ यू डॉक्टर रवि शर्मा रैंक टू नवंबर एम्स फोर्टीन दिस इज एन इनिशिएटिव एज यू अंडरस्टैंड फॉर एम फॉर एम्स टू हेल्प यू टू जज योर सेल्फ एंड टू मोटिवेट यू हेल्प यू इन गेटिंग इन टू द मोस्ट प्रेस्टिजियस इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंडिया दैट इज एम्स फ्रेंड्स देर इज़ अ मल्टीट्यूड नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट हैव बिन बॉम्बार्डेड बॉम्बार्डिंग अस and these questions are not from aims only this is from all over india from the students who actually want to know what is going wrong with them like they are striving for 5 8 years 3 years 2 years and then they are not able to get a single digit a double digit rank in aims i would really ask uh, ravi sharma for the first question i am a student of peripheral medical college maybe i am from a uh, gwalior medical college let us understand and i am an intern there sir is it possible for me to crack aims yes definitely uh, i have been asked many a time i am a average student i scored about 50 60% in my profs i am doing not so well in my tnds and rand test can i get a single digit rank in aims the answer is yes the first thing we need you to believe that you can do it that is our purpose that you can do it if we are sitting here you have the same potential that you come up here and talk to the world and yes your marks in your prof your marks in your grand tests and test and discussion sessions in your coaching institutes are no reflection of what you will perform in the final exam if your approach is right provided your approach is right there are no no reflection and to this yes to all the peripheral medical students yes you can come to aims and definitely i have done my mbbs from aims i can quote this that you have are far more hard working than any mbbs ug you are far more hard working than we have ever been then why not you can be rank one of this country and look this is a bare truth that uh, he says he says uh, he is a far less uh, hard working we will not believe on them until as we do not get to know what is he trying to say you know uh, the second question that will come from me as a gwalior medical college mb student is sir what is the time you studied now this is a trick time is a tricky question okay now there are some people who would like to quantify time okay now how much time you need for pg operation first question some people will say 5 years start from the first year start from 6 semester in terms of is sufficient what i want you to convey is it is not the time the amount of time it matters it's the quality how you study so you can study for one week and you can study the same topic in 5 hours the efficiency may be different that has to change so most of people who come up with this question sir i am an intern i am a post intern i didn't study well in mbbs can i still crack pt for me at least one year of good and focused preparation for aims is sufficient to crack if you want to give an early start okay i can say you can start in six semester that is okay a good enough time to start because starting in first semester it's totally wrong you are not even well versed with your physiology you haven't read robins even in your life and you start reading mc books that's a totally wrong approach once uh, i was attending a lecture in a coaching institute it was first day and that was the last day in that coaching institute uh, the director of that institute comes up and says pg is like a race you start early you will win that's a totally wrong concept yes. it's not a race don't make it a race for yourself it is a marathon it is your performance it is your understanding you build in your mbbs and the effort you put during your internship or in the post internship period focus towards that exam it is not that okay you can read 19 subjects 19 into 3 19 into 4 100 books this no fun if you don't cover the ex- topics which are relevant exam so i think so one year of focus will be sufficient but if you want to give an early start it is six semester not before that but before that you should focus on your prof read your textbook well you will never be able to read your textbooks when you come to internship so read your textbook at least robins that is my that's a very uh, valid point read your textbooks now but again i would like to ask the same medical college student sir can you please quantify the time now at least per day sir ha per day now if you are an intern if you are an intern and with a very hectic posting 
and let us say you have a night every third or fourth day so i would say daily excluding the day you are having a night you have about 5 days in a week okay let us say so 5 days at least 5 hours a day so 5 days a week 5 hours per day is a sufficient preparation if you are reading relevant okay if you are reading irrelevant stuff 5 years may be insufficient that's There's no end very well that point. is what i am stressing on and that is what we would like to convey through this forum and site that when we say aim for aims we are telling you what is relevant okay our target is not make you a robot who is able to do all 200 questions correct we don't you get a rank 1 when you get 160 correct even if you get 40 questions wrong 160 correct you put a negative of 13 you get 147 as a score you are rank 1 of this country 147 to 160 is rank 1 so no one is asking you to do all those 200 questions correct i we want you to go focus on that exam and find those 160 questions which you should not do wrong we will teach you not to do everything but to prevent the losses where they are preventable okay certainly no uh, this is a, again a very valid point you know you have to put out those 140 questions in your exam which you will definitely make correct rather than attempting all those 200 and making those 70 80 wrong and then you attempting as maybe a score of 120 but uh, you know uh, ravi i have one more question that was again uh, asked me a few days back ki uh, suppose i am reading 5 or 6 hours a day and i am an intern now what is the time that i should give you give to individual say year wise books like aims 11 aims 12 aims 13 and what is the time i should give to subject wise preparation would you just tell us like first uh, if you are let us say over a year during the entire internship i would suggest first 6 months you can do subject wise books but in the last 6 months you should start focusing on the repeat questions because they will help you model so in the last 6 months what you can do is you can spend first 2 months in revising what you have already read one month in doing the new repeat questions of last 5 years and remaining 3 months again revising what you have already read and the questions you did because anything which you have read if you don't revised it's gone so don't spend your energy on something you cannot revise it will go away better go and watch a movie okay that would i suggest if you are reading a book today and you are not going to revise it at the end of your internship it's all waste it won't help you unless it is a concept based book and most mcq books are not concept they are just rote learning so you have to make sure that if you are putting your effort then it should go in the right direction okay uh, yeah this is uh, another valid point you know uh, there are so many guide books i think i think every uh, 19 subjects in today's era has a guide book now uh, what do you say is a guide book guide book is those book which has a nice pretext they have questions and then they have an answers uh, but you i we personally believe we cannot read those 19 guide books so would you just suggest some of the guide book which is must read yeah Uh, for at least first year subjects uh, i can suggest that people can go through especially for biochemistry because and across is a good book a guide book uh, for second year subjects uh, for pathology uh, complete review of pathology by dr praveen is a good book sumit seth forensic very good book uh, grg uh, for pharma is a good book micro won't suggest you can you should not read any mcq book as such and for psm dr vivek jain's book is very good and uh, for short subjects like uh, derma ent of tha i think so they're doing individual mcq books will be too much because okay. for these books books have suggested they are good like across for first year complete review of pathology for second year forensic sumit so seth grg for your pharma and your vivek jain for psm i think so they are important remaining some people are attending coaching you can go and revise your coaching notes as well so what i want to tell you is all mcq books you all your coaching notes kind of have all the same stuff it's overlapping stuff but you need to be smart enough to filter what is important for you from the entire vastness okay you need to be smart enough okay this is important for me you will have to leave something just you have to make a right choice what is important for you you know uh, like uh, suppose uh, in today's era i think 100% of the students attend coaching for my first question is is it bare essential student coaching number one and second even if i am attending a coaching maybe in third year or fourth year or final year what is my right approach when i come back home what should i do 
now this is a very relevant question uh, i am not against attending coaching uh, i also attended some classes but uh, coaching first of all is not essential for the selection okay main purpose of coaching is it gives confidence to you that you are in parallel with your peers that is the main psychological benefit is have now as far as coaching is concerned especially i would like to talk about tnds when you do tnd in internship because we have time crunch that at that time what you should do is people read a lot of stuff before going to tnd the target is i need to prove my rank they see their rank they try to improve their rank in dent test and that is good but what after you attend the tnd that is the problem a student who re- goes and revises the tnd as a tenant in a coaching institute benefits more than with read 10 books to get a rank one in tnd okay because for you have learned a lot of stuff before going to tnd and then you think okay i perform well i have topped i know everything but in that tnd that teacher must have discussed some important topics which are relevant for the exam but you don't come and revise so child who you may not be prepared well before a tnd but you be, should be the master of the topics after your tnd so re- reading after your tnd whichever tnd you get whichever question it doesn't matter G- spend at least two days after you attend the tnd and revise it especially in internship that that, you know uh, that's uh, that's a very good point uh, for example you have attended a tnd you have attended two days coaching class saturday or sunday now more important is that you might not know the subject before maybe friday but you have attended that coaching class saturday and sunday so revise the whole week the same subject rather than reading on the new stuffs you have forget the main stuffs now uh, moving with another important I mean, question that i am be getting right now is like time management maybe one month before the exam one week before the exam one day before the exam uh, how do you just differentiate between these three first of all i would like to say time management uh, let us suppose you have one year let's divide it one year one month then one week and then one hour before uh-huh. the exam one year first is if you are attending a tnd in internship follow that tnd okay whatever subject you are doing do it obviously it is not possible to complete a full subject along with tnd everyone falls behind what what people are confused is okay i was attending an at tnd couldn't complete an at now it has turned on to physio tnd now my at is left should i do physio now or complete an at my approach is uh whatever has been left keep it aside just don't break the flow because what if you break the flow the next tnd will also suffer and there's no guarantee you will be able to finish an ad so if you have missed out on an ad okay whatever you have done that's my purpose when people say i missed out on an ad that is the approach because you are having in mind okay what i should have read before i went to tnd doesn't matter even if you miss out on an ad whatever has been taught in that tnd go and revise that that in and i am telling you when you come to last one month you will not be able to revise your all 19 tnds exactly that is the time crunch so if there is a smart guy he will revise he would have done his tnd notes well so he will be able to revise it well one who is hell bent on finishing at mcq was before and after a tnd will not be able to revise it so throughout the year i think so most tnds finish by august or september you should be giving a good go through about each subject whether they are important they are big or small and revise the basic tnds and whatever is left will be taken up because you have to get the questions correct from all subjects you score 70% in all 19 subjects you get rank 1 exactly. you score 100% in a subject and 40% in other your rank will suffer especially as far as aims is concerned so for throughout one year i think so this should be the approach now coming to last one month now last one month there is something called as funnel effect funnel within a funnel so what whatever you read in last one year now you have to funnel it down in one month one month how to do it you need to make notes okay what i would suggest make notes or today in the era of technology we all have smartphones so what is a smarter way to use smartphones what i used to do my casualty posting emergency posting very hectic so i didn't get much time to revise whatever repeat questions i used to fail to do on the first attempt i used to forget i used to click a pitch of pick of that i used to take that pick okay. along with me while i was going to go from my hostel to casualty i used to revise three four questions so that is how you use your intercept 
the basic idea of using your time the time management is using the time which no one else will use everyone will think aaj main jaunga i will go back sit for 3 hours and will study in ideal world that doesn't happen smart person is you are attending your round and you have revised your 10 mcqs i used to do it i used to attend my faculty's round have a smartphone listen to his talks revise my two questions get to the round even after that is how you manage internship with it because that is the era of smartphone any you have a lot of forums on facebook people read it take a snapshot of it if you think that is important revise it you are going in a metro to another city you are going back to home you can revise a lot so that is how you use your time no this is a very uh, smart you know using a smartphone in a smarter way it's a very nice uh, last uh, what i was ask you is how many questions did you attempt in your time and what was your score ravi so for aims particularly keep your attempt high there is no logic in attempting questions less than 195 yeah. i won't give it to anyone okay because what happens in aims exam there are about 110 110 to 120 questions which everyone in this country knows this is the answer there are 20 questions which no one in this country knows what is the answer so we are left with just about 60 questions now in that in those 60 questions every one of us knows the answer is between these two options so we have a 50% probability of getting it correct so if we take mathematically if you have 50% probability of getting it correct then you should always go for it of course so this is a, i think the attempt should not be less than 195 i attempted 197 questions and, your and i'm i scored about 145 marks so i would have got around 160 correct that is what i say you get 160 correct you will get a top rank in aims thank you friends uh, this is a very nice talk by dr ravi i will please all follow this follow us on facebook follow us on website it's a blog that we are coming up with it's called aim for aims.in we all are members it's of by initiative by aimsonians it's by us it's for you follow us take our guidance and please give your valuable comments on the facebook and your website and thank you before i end one thing i would like to quote a famous line from dr shiv khera's book winners don't do different things they do things differently so that is our purpose we want to guide you to do things differently we don't want to read 10 books for nine each subject we want to read one book and even some part of that book and still 